we work on the lip corner in the last video and today we're going to move to the cavity area so inside mouth cavity i'm talking about the mouth cavity where the jaw lies the teeth and the tongue okay so how much we should create so when we say some dialogue we speak anything so our tongue and our jaw are literally visible when we say any words so we need to create enough space where our tonsils are so i'll just search m o u mouth drawing and we need two drawings one from the front and one from the side to understand the area the amount of area it takes so from the side if i take this you can see from the corner if you go 45 degree here and just underline the lip nose this is all the area will be created so side is pretty much clear and it goes down but from the front we just need to go as somewhere like 20% area leaving 20 to 30% area from the corner okay so let's create a rough a basic structure for jaw let's take a cylinder as four i'll go to the front view i have another we have another book we can't really create the cylinder here it's been a while we face this book let me just confirm nothing can be created I can take the model from here. Okay. Let's take the cylinder and let's say this is our jaw. Okay. Let's go to the front view. Let's turn off the camera. Press four. Let me scale it. This can be this much. We don't need to be zoom here, and it will be like this. Let's go to the side view. Press it forward, and our jaw will be like this much here. And let's place it. So we are just creating a block for our jaw. Let's lock the face for now. So we can free view, modify them. Well, Okay. The lower jaw stays a little behind. Have an entire like this. Okay, this is very good drawing I found. A little right upward. I hope you got a front view, but it's not there. Let's go with this. So it's like this. And from the front, if we see, we need to squeeze it. And. That should be enough. Okay, so once we have blocked a little enough area for the teeth, all we need is to 
get the rest of the skin. But you can see here, which is not entirely matching. So we need to match the curl. Let's edit them. So, so this can go, keeps on going this way. This will do the job. Okay, so now it's very perfect space. All we need to do is bend this all the way back. And we can we need to keep the things as good as possible. If we keep it too far, it will look awkward when we're going to open the mouth. So we need to make sure that about that. Now we can start creating the, once we have figured out our teeth, how much it's taking the space and where it is, we can start. First we need to confirm the lip thickness. We can't just go right away from here. We need to keep a little thickness here, which is already contributing in thickness. But this is just where it starts. But it should have a little thickness before going anywhere. So I'll just take this much for the thickness. But that thickness doesn't lie here. We have already created here thick. It's thickness. So it will go all the way back. It will also go back. It will go down. And this will just blend in between. Somewhere. Let's pull it down. When this is done, if I'm doing this, this needs to be there. When it is simply it a little bit because after pressing 3, there will be a gap. You can see the gap. Yes. So we might or we must need to intersect them to get rid of the gap. So this can't go all the way there. To reduce the gap, they need they need to stay close as possible. Okay, we are almost there. That should do it. The corner is always kind of a time-taking stuff. But once we sorted it, it's a easy. But yeah, I'm keeping a bit thick lips in the middle and it is goes towards the corner. You can see the thickness reduces. Okay. And now this should do the job. All we need to do is double click extrude. And yeah, this is the right one. The skin should be visible from the inside. So this area has gone good and this is pretty messed up. That's okay. We have only three loops to manage. All we need to do, keep the distance. Manage the distance that we have achieved here. Our Chin is not chin. Our cheeks are not a wall of break. They are just too basic. I'm just just by maintaining them, keep going. All we need to do is to maintain the loop from the front, also in inside back. You can see it's going here. You can see it's going this way. Make sure to keep the distance. If you get too close, after making some blend shape like a smile and said it will intersect. So it might take a little time. All in all, it will save your time in future. 
right now we are not seeing our jaw we'll turn them on in a while okay this looks okay let's spread them now okay let's extrude the second one now it's going this way but we don't want we want it to go further just scale it not really working this way it will work so from our study we seen it goes like this much somewhere close to nose let's take this much little backward okay so top is pretty much set let's get inside our focal length is also high make sure to use lesser focal length it will be very easy to manage somehow we put it outside let's press few and do that should be when we were changing the focal then 25 now we have a lot of space and now we can just settle the limits this goes here this goes this way this will be going this way this will be this way it's easy all the loops will find their place all we need to do is make sure that it doesn't get too close to the outer skin it is pretty close that's a little bad that should do for now just keep checking time to time now we can just go like this okay we can see the jaw here now now we got another plenty of space all we need to do is just extrude backward this needs to be checked from the front and we are going backward too early see this this is where it intersects so <clears throat> now there is a trick to work let's select this area this loop actually and close selection shift and greater arrow or you can press control right click and close selection we'll take the selection till here and we will just select the two teeth model the blocking models and isolate now we don't see anything outside the means outside this cavity area so we were pretty sure about this one let's remove the symmetry control shift right click and then scale it a little <coughs> and this loop needs to be moved we'll move this all in this can go up okay from here on this okay, okay. let's press and do we didn't had what to say symmetry let's scale them this is fine Let's select and scale it. Let's turn on the symmetry back and update this loop. 
I would say this is fine. We can move ahead with this. We won't be able to see what's going on inside and I would say this is fine. Let's straighten it. Registered one more time. This port, go to the side view. Let's scale it a bit. Okay, so this is where our teeth ends. All we need to do is to sync our entire cap and rotate it downward. And one more screw, it's done. Something like the biology diagram. If you go here, so as let's press five. And we were scaling since the symmetry were on, it didn't scale all the way. That's okay, we'll just manually move it. That should do it. We can also make a tonsil here. I'll just leave it. So this is our cavity area. Always make sure not to leave space to see what's inside. And always isolate a single lid just to check the thickness. Sometimes it goes too much, sometimes it's too less. Just always check the thickness. This is what we have right now. Not bad, not good. Let's work out a little. Let's keep them close for the holding. Now this should do it. Let's look at the upper lips. Glow selection, shift and greater than. Isolate. Right where we want it. Let's not keep it hard. Just pulling this way, it will make it a little softer. That's why I'm doing it. Or else it will be looking little hard. Okay. The next thing is the gap. Once we move it, there is a gap. It's just easy to just move up and solve it. Okay. The gap has been filled. The lips are closed. I would say our lips is done. Now if I press go and this is our cavity area from the front and the side. Okay. Make sure to look for the right reference. You can make it. Next we need tongue and the teeth.